Hi, welcome. I'm your host, Nara Youssef, and today we are back at the Cleveland Clinic Culinary Medicine Teaching Kitchen at the Wellness Institute, and we're here back with Chef Jim Perko and his sous chef, Gabby Shipta, and they will be preparing a thick but healthy broccoli, bean, and leek soup, and a chicken salad veronique. Uh, so feel free to type in any questions you guys have along the way, and I'll uh, try to read them here uh, live. Thank you so much for having me back. Always a pleasure, ma'am. <laughs> um, I know we're going to start with the soup, but yep. what is a chicken salad veronique? So veronique is the yeah. classical garnish for seedless grape. And mm. it's not so much that we call, you know, I call it veronique because it has in, there's grapes in it, right? But the reason why we're doing chicken salad veronique is because if I put in seedless grapes, mm -hmm. then you could eat less chicken. And then also we could add less, this isn't mayonnaise, this is a vegan form of mayonnaise. Vegan form. Right, which is really good. But it's still fat, still fat calories, yeah, so yeah. we still want to use less. And this is going to love you back more than that will, right? Sure, sure. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to start the soup first, all right? So what we have, I've got onions in the pot. I started to get them translucent and slightly caramelized, okay? Now we're going to crank the heat up a little bit. We're going to put in some fresh garlic, okay? And when I say this, this was the amount of oil. That's all the oil I used for this soup to caramelize the onions and that's going in. Okay. What kind of oil is that? Uh, extra virgin olive oil, extra Nada. Virgin olive oil. And so what we're going to do now, we're going to make a fairly thick soup here, but we're not going to thicken it with a roux. Right, Nada? Right, right. So what is, tell me exactly what that is. So a roux, flour? Nada, uh -huh. is fat and flour. Okay. So it could be any kind of fat, like if you made a, made a pan gravy, right? Sure. And you had leftover chicken fat or any animal fat of any source, right? And you had flour to that, that's also a roux. Okay. We don't want to add a roux because the flour most people generally use is all-purpose flour. It's yeah. stripped of its nutrients. Sure. You'd want to use a whole grain flour, okay? So if you were going to make a gumbo, instead of making a roux, I could get 100% whole grain flour, toast it in my oven, and then add water to it, get a slurry, and I could thicken a, a gumbo just like I would with a roux without the fat. Okay. And I'd have 100% whole grain flour. Great. Now, okay, we're gonna thicken this soup, but we're gonna thicken it with legumes, okay? And legumes are healthy for you, right? And we're gonna thicken with the amount of broccoli. So I got the garlic in, you could tell it's aromatic. When they talk about aromatherapy, yeah. we're getting a good dose of it right I'm now. smelling it. Right? It oh, amazing. better believe it, yeah. okay? So now we're going to add fresh leeks in, okay, and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. We got our broccoli, okay, we're going to add our legumes, all right. What kind of beans are you using? Uh, uh, these are cannellini beans, but you could grate northern beans or navy beans, whatever you want. Okay. We're going to add our stock, okay, and I got a little bit of salt. I think I'm just going to put in about half the salt, okay? And we're gonna bring this to a simmer. And this is it, now we'll do the chicken while this comes to a simmer. Really All right, good. I'm gonna cover it, semi-cover it a little bit and bring that to a simmer. Now we're gonna turn this on, warm this up. Okay, we're gonna do chicken salad. So now, Hi. chicken, meat. Yes, meat. <laughs> um, <laughs> Everyone, Nada asked me to make a meat recipe today, yes. okay? So in the meat world, you know, I don't really, I'm not big on doing red meats or any kind of meat, but so we're gonna do chicken today, okay? So I figured, well, if Nada asked me to do meat, I'm gonna do meat, but I'm gonna try to show you how you could eat less meat, okay? Sure. And so we use chicken, if you're, you know, I always tell people in our classes, if they're gonna eat chicken, try to have, a, white meat only, no, no skin, no leg, no thigh, okay, mm -hmm. to try to get as lean as possible. Um, so if, let's say you were making chicken soup, okay? If you made chicken soup, rather than use the whole chicken, if you just use the breast meat only on the bone and then bought backs and necks and actually chicken feet, there's any time the chicken pounds the pavement, there's a lot of flavor in that, right? Mm -hmm. That's why they would use an old hen or a stew chicken yeah. to make it, not a young fryer. Okay, so now you make, and you get stock from bones, you get the gelatin from bones. Everybody yes. talks about bone broth, that was, that's nothing more than a stock. Okay, so now you take the chicken out, right? Okay, so when the breast is done, okay, now 
your soup was your primary meal, here's a secondary meal, right? Sure. You got bang for your buck. Sure. So you see how the grain is going this way in the chicken? That's how the grain is going, right? You want to cut against the grain, like so, into slices, okay? Just like that. Now, when you cut against the grain, guess what happens? The knife is doing part of the chewing for you because if you cut with the grain on anything, you got to chew more, okay? And it won't be as palatable. So now we took that, and we're going to cut it into little strips and slices, just like so. And then we're going to make a nice small dice, just like this, okay? And that's the chicken that we have over here. Then we're going to do the same thing with the grape, okay? Now, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I'm going to cut this grape in tiny, teeny little, little pieces. So look, if I got a big grape like so, I cut it in half. I'm going to cut it in half again, right? And I'll probably put two cuts here like this, because look what happens. I got these tiny little pieces. Now, if it's a smaller grape, I'll go in half. I'll go in, in half again, okay? And then maybe just one time but I get same size pieces. And you want consistent size, right? Sure. Now, here's why this is important. So look, if I take this chicken to go to make the chicken salad, chicken goes in the bowl, right? By itself, okay, this chicken is gonna be dry. Even if it was cooked spot on the money, you eat it by itself, it's gonna, still gonna be dry. You're gonna be reaching yeah. for something to drink. And we don't want you to moisten it with a lot of extra fat, right? Even though it's a healthier fat, there's no animal fats in here, right? But it's still fat, still fat calories. We want to use less, right? So a way to use less of that is we're going to put in the grapes. Okay, we got our seedless grapes there. And we're going to put in celery, that's tiny. Our onions, that's tiny. And we're going to put in our egg whites, right? What is that? Is and that egg whites? That was egg white. No okay. fat, not the yolk, just the white. Okay. But here's the key. When we go to mix this with our other ingredients, when you go to fork into this and get a bite, you're gonna have a little bit, of, because it was tiny, teeny, weeny, and small, you're gonna have a little bit of celery, a little bit of egg white, a little bit of onion, and a little bit of grape in every bite. That's why you want those pieces to be nice and small, okay? So now, we're gonna add our veginase, okay? There's our, our vegan form of our mayonnaise, right? And then we're going to add some Dijon mustard. There's no fat in the mustard, yeah. right? Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. And then we got toasted walnuts, which has a healthy omega-3 fat. Yeah. One of the things when you do walnuts, you want to, if you, we toast them. Why? Because they taste better toasted when, than when they're not. Yeah. And the reason what you want to do is you want to toast them low and slow because if you toast them at over 300 degrees, you start to diminish the omega-3 in the walnut. So you want to do it like between around 275 and just go low and slow, okay? So now you'll see how you can make a chicken salad using less fat by adding plants, okay? So we got the grapes and the celery and the onions and the egg white, that'll make it nice and moist. And Jim, for our viewers, our we also salad. just put in the recipe that uh, we submitted here in the comment section. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so if you wanna see that as well. Uh, okay. That looks amazing. And there's our chicken salad, Veronique. Now, let's say you wanna do the exact same thing, but you don't wanna have any chicken at all, right? So you might be in the camp that's trying to get off of meat. So if you're in that camp, okay, here's what you could do. You could use tempeh, okay? What now, is that? What tempeh, is tempeh is a fermented soy, and it will have grain. This one has brown, whole grain brown rice, okay? okay. So it's, it's good for gut bacteria as sure. well, and it's a healthy fat. So same thing. Now, you could take it, and you can dice it just like it is. Now, this will be slightly stronger because it came right out of package, or you could take it, Make your slices like so. Then we're going to put them in a stock, a broth. Just give me a little bit of water. Okay, right okay, just like so. Okay, and then just like that. And we're going to poach this for maybe a couple minutes. And that's it. What's going to happen is it, the stock and the broth in here is going to infuse, okay? And it'll give this tempeh a beautiful flavor and a firmer texture. And when that's done, it'll come out just like this here. Okay, so now we're going to take the same thing. We got 
We're going to take our uh, Is that vegan? vegan form of okay. mayonnaise, exactly. There's no real mayonnaise in this kitchen, Nada. Oh. <laughs> Not since I've been here. So where do you where do you get vegan mayonnaise? And you could get it at Giant Eagle right behind me. You could get it at Whole Foods. Okay. You know, even Marks is selling it now. We got our salt. We got our pepper. Okay. Now we're gonna add our tempe. Okay. We're and what what section in the grocery store do you find tempe? Oh well, you know what. That's a hard one. It's hard to answer because stores move stuff around all the time. It's yeah. crazy, right? Yeah. So sometimes it might be in an organic section. I see. Sometimes it might be in a, a health food section. Okay. You know, it's okay. it's different. So it's it, you know, I it's, I can't answer we'll that, just right? Ask the yeah. You know, just ask them when you go to the yeah. store. Yeah. Now we add our grapes, our celery, rest of the ingredients, our healthy healthy walnuts, right? So look now, okay. You got the exact same thing, okay? And instead of, ha this is 100% vegan, okay? And it's not processed vegan, this is whole food vegan. And that's the key. So if you're gonna eat a whole food plant-based diet, this would qualify, all right? Okay. It's not processed. And look, it looks just the same. And it's awesome. And by taking the tempeh and poaching it in broth, it is really, really good. Oh, that looks so look like at the two. You couldn't tell the difference. Yeah, you, you can totally. Um, this one's going to love you back yeah. more, Nada. Okay. Well, speaking all of, right. Jim, I wanted to ask you. I mean, sure. meat has all of our essential amino acids. Where yes. plants, you cannot get all of them, right? Or what? You, you could tell me. We, you know, we'll so, have this debate. <laughs> if you're going to follow a whole food plant-based diet, low in added sugar, sodium, and fat, which the science says that's the healthiest way to go. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, was, um, you could always go, there's a, a, a web, um, you could go to nutritionfacts.org, nutritionfacts.org, free to anybody in the United States. Dr. Michael Greger founded it, and you could get evidence-based science on pretty much anything you're looking for. Great. Whether it be meats, chicken, whether it be estrogen from soy, sure. anything you want, That's right? It'll give you the science behind it. Now, um, I forgot the question. Well, my question is about the essential amino acids oh, and meats. So if you're gonna follow a plant-based diet, you wanna eat, at least take a B12 supplement. So I yeah. make, every day I take a B12 supplement. I take one, I put it on my tongue and I let it dissolve, sure. okay? Sure. If you have soy yes. or quinoa, those are considered complete proteins. Having all the nine essential amino acids, our body doesn't make it, and you have to get from a food source. Okay. Okay? Okay. So you get that from there. And not to mention, when you eat a plant-based diet, you are getting so many phytochemicals, so many nutrients, so many antioxidants. You sure. want to get antioxidants. Yeah. Because you want to fight free radicals, and antioxidants fight free radicals. Sure. Right? Sure. That's why you want to eat berries and things that are colorful. Yeah. Right? So there are links to eating meats and cancer and many other chronic diseases, mm -hmm. okay? And there are so much science that eating a whole food plant-based diet can actually help prevent and even reverse certain diseases, right. okay? Right. All right, so now we're gonna go back to our, okay, so this is done. We'll shut that off. We got our soup here, right? Okay, so now we're gonna take our soup and we're gonna puree it, right? okay. And you'll see how thick this gets. Now what I'm using to puree it with is an immersion blender. Okay, you can get these relatively inexpensive now at Kohl's, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond, all these stores are carrying these things, okay. And you'll see how nice. This is a great soup for the winter season. Today's the first day of winter. Tomorrow's winter solstice. And this is a fitting soup. And everything in this soup is going to love you back. Okay, there's our soup. All right. Okay, so now. That's pretty creamy. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. Okay, look at that. Oh, beautiful, huh? And then we can actually take it and even garnish it with some extra broccoli because we all know broccoli is going to love you back, right? Yes, definitely. And you know what, Not I just happen to think now this matches your blouse. 
It does. Right? Look at that. Christmas covers. How's that? <laughs> See that for the holidays. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now, I got one more thing I want to share with you real quick. This is my holiday gift to the viewers here. Okay. So, in the kitchen, you could weave many disciplines. You got functional exercise, just washing this pot, lifting this pot, it's heavy. You get functional exercise. You also get behavior, health, and hospitality, right? As well as aromatherapy. Here's one on hospitality, okay? So you could do this for your holiday table. We got a red napkin, right? Put the red napkin down. We're gonna fold it over so the open end is to you, right? Now we're gonna take it, you wanna make a crease, we're gonna fold it again. So now if you took this and ironed it and made it starchy, it would be even better, right? Okay, so we're going to fold. Now we're going to stick our finger in the middle. This is just like making a paper airplane, right? Yeah. So we're going to fold it like so, fold it like so, just like a paper airplane, okay? Yeah. Now we're going to fold it again, just like making a paper airplane, right? Okay, okay. Looks just like, that. yeah, easy schmeasy, right? Yeah. Okay, look, now we do that. Now we're going to close it, okay? Fold it tight, okay? Now we're gonna turn it upside down, take the top half, fold it up, okay. just like so, okay? Take the bottom one, and we're gonna tuck it into this fold. Now you have a An nice elf shoe, elf shoe for your amazing. holiday table. <laughs> and look at you got red and green here. How about that, Keep okay? That <laughs> so happy holidays, everybody. Eat healthy, and I hope you enjoyed our recipes today. Thank you. Thank you so much. And You're for welcome. more health information and news, you can follow us on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, at Cleveland Clinic, one word. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.